So as you know, I've been getting books, buying and purchasing from Papa, and I've been reading them, and I've been blessed, 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 blessed a lot. So the one I received recently, one of them recently, is this one, Understanding Relationship, Marriage, and Family Life. Let me tell you, if, I, if you are a single person, a married person, or to be married person, this is your book to get, to understand relationship if you want to understand the relationship marriage and family life how to function in those in a godly way christ-centered way according to the bible this is your book it teaches you the right way how god wants us to function in relationship marriage the mind of god the plan of god and everything and i love you know papa what uh, he put in this book very important you know and i read something that took my mind and it, papa said something very important that I failed to understand for a long time. And, you know, praying, reading, trying to read the Bible to understand it, I failed it. I, I failed to understand it. But, you know, thank God for Papa. God is amazing. My prayer was answered when I purchased this book. Sometimes, you know, the answer to your prayers, sometimes the answer to your questions lies in a certain material that has Papa put us out that papa has put out there that's why you know you must be very keen and dedicated to focus shift your resources and channel them to acquiring materials that build your spirit man you don't have business in uh getting five dollars and buying something just to eat like sweets you can save that money and invest it to your eternal soul into eternity it's like one uh, preacher said imagine you feed Three hot meals every day to your flesh and no meal to your spirit. Every day you are eating, every time, every time you buy sweet, 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 sweet for your spirit, nada, nothing. No prayer, no fasting, uh, no fellowship, no listening to the word of God, nothing. You are just there. You, ha you are not invest investing, you are not investing in your eternity. You are doing a disservice to yourself. That's why it is important to channel your resources to buy this. It is worth it. So, you know, my prayer was answered when I began reading. Six Papa dealt with the question of dating. You know, when I was in high school, we struggled with that with brothers who were Christians and they were dating. Brothers who were Christians and they had girlfriends. Uh, sisters who were Christians and they had uh, boyfriends. Brothers, they had girlfriends, lovers, and they were dating. They were doing all sorts of things, uh, going and engaging in all those activities, you know. I don't know the limit of those activities, how they were, but you know, like married couples. But I don't know the limit of it, so I'm putting a limit to that. So, you know, sometimes we would stand and, uh, and uh, devilify the act of dating and try to, to, show, to showcase it as devilish, satanic, and demonic, and not biblical. But, you know, we struggle to, um, to, to, to look from what the Bible says, this is a sin. So would be loud on it as a sin, but no scriptural reference, no other thing. And them that would be loud on it, it is okay, but no scriptural reference. And every time when there's no proper understanding, there is always chaos. But you know, I love now what Papa said on the question of dating. And let me just share with you, he said, people want to know how long they should date before marriage. In the first place, it is sad to note that dating in today's world is a word construed for sinful relationships. Going out to someone and exploring all emotional and sexual intimacy to see if you are compatible to marry. That is a sinful way of life. We do not practice sex before marriage in the body of Christ. When you are still too young to marry, it is not advisable to get engaged in sexual activities in the name of dating. It will be a distraction for you and will ruin you. Stay away from such unhealthy relationship. And you know, the moment I just read this, light came to my eyes. I was like, wow. Why does everything becomes clear when Papa explains it? It's like it has been, you know, it's like, it's, it's like your mind opens to a new reality. Like, ah. I never saw this. Now you, 
you understand every time it is explained you know that's why i say thank god for the teaching minutes uh the fivefold minutes the fourfold minutes which god has put there it's because he knows we need this and certainly you know there are some boys who think no you know i should date and dating is to gain experiences uh, you must be experienced before you marry you know we had one and god the teacher uh, in the school we used to say you know before you marry you you know before you buy a car you test it out first uh, how good it is so even before you marry you should test the car and how good it is so it's a godly way of thinking and it's ungodly but jesus says you are not of this world the Bible says, do not be conformed to this world. So the world is its own system, how it moves, how it works, and you are not to walk as them. When they say, well, for it, maybe you must test out the cafes and see if it is fit. That is not, a God, is not a godly way. That is not the scriptures. You don't walk with the mind how the world stipulates you walk according to the systems of the devil. The system set by, by devils. You walk according to how the word says. You don't say, oh, well, I will practice uh, dating so that, you know, I gain experience. I test the cup if I drive it so I will see if she's fit, if she can cook, uh, if she's good for me. Uh, and, you know, and you begin to enter into all sexual intimacy and all the things and all things. Uh, that will ruin your life. It's not scriptural, that. And Jesus, Jesus said, you are not of this world. So if you are not of this world, the way you ought to think, function, and move about everything and deal with the relationship should be different from the people of the world. You are not to engage in unhealthy relationship that the Bible does not say. When you are ready to marry, you must. That's why you know Papa now talked about here. He said, the, he said, people like to relate for some time to know one another properly before marriage. The iron is that you do not really, you the iron is that you really do not get to know anybody, even if you relate with that person for 1,000 years. Once a person is ready to marry, and they have agreed with their choice of partner, you have agreed with the girl you want to marry, or, or the girl with the boy you want to marry, they should inform the church authority for accountability. You don't do hide and seek. You don't go about hiding and, you know, going in the night, sneaking so that people don't see you. Or you don't tell the church when, when you when you see the pastor or the girl, you begin saying, praise the Lord, sister. You know, uh, the pastor asks you, who, who is that? Uh, that is my friend. No, that is the devil entering in between. Be careful. You must put church authority first. You should inform the church authority to be accountable and you will have joy anything you do in the secret does not bring you joy you will have no peace every time you're standing you'll be looking maybe someone saw me be suspecting this maybe someone saw maybe someone saw me maybe w w people they see what are they thinking you won't have peace to disturb you but when you you go you be accountable to church if you don't want to be accountable to the church you are very very getting destroyed very easily but when you submit to the church authority and become accountable, you will have peace. And there won't be anything the devil to bring in between because you are accountable to the church authority. That's very, very important. That's why, you know, sometimes I say it is very dangerous for as a girl to marry a boy or as a boy to marry a girl who has no accountability, who has no church is accountable to or a man a pastor is accountable to very dangerous you find the believer says uh, uh, me i'm everywhere i do i'm not accountable to any past i'm not accountable to any church that man just how he's talking there that lack of accountability to uh, manifest in the marriage and it won't be good the that that lack of accountability it will begin to manifest in your marriage it, it will be catastrophe so find out, is this guy accountable to a certain local church? Is he accountable to the pastor? Moreover, does he respect the word of God? If he respects the word of God, go ahead. If he does not, it's not worth it. Uh, even though it's how much you want to be married, suspend it first. Wait. <laughs> it's better for you uh, to be in peace than to be in pieces. Okay? You can marry and end up in pieces, but you can wait and marry and end in peace. 
So if you find the guy who no account to a local church, not accountable to a local church, not accountable to a pastor, not even respecting the word of God, if you go ahead, then you experience catastrophe in your marriage, in your relationship. Don't say, well, where is God? Why God? Why me? Because God gave you the warning signs, but you proceeded in disobedience. And that manifested there, and you begin to regret. Very important. That's why you know the issue of accountability is important. When you get a girl, you think you are, want to marry, you go, you say, Pastor, I think I found the girl. Because anything you do in the secret won't give you peace. And anything you do in the secret, it means if you do something in darkness, it means it's not right. The moment you do something in the secret, then you are every day suspecting anybody. Maybe someone saw me. What about people thinking, oh, maybe this and this. It's a proof your conscience is accusing you that what you are doing is wrong. So stop it. Once you hear you feel that, the conscience is telling, is telling you what you are doing is wrong. I'm not, you are not comfortable in that. Change the way. Be comfortable. Find the way to reconcile yourself to your conscience and be comfortable and have peace. That's why I said we don't go and, you know, saying we are going to play, you know, we are trying girls' hearts and boys' hearts to find if we are compatible. The heart of people, they are not football to play. If you don't have where to play, they are the football grounds where you can go and exercise, warm up and play and finish. You don't play with the hearts of people. When you enter dating, it should be sorry for marriage. Marriage. And if you are not ready for marriage, well, quit. Don't go into dating. Wait, do the ministry of God, serve the church, be busy doing what the, the Lord's bidding. And in that when you feel, yeah, I'm ready, then say, okay, you can now say, okay, now I'm, I'm going to death. And in that, get accountable. Tell the church authority, I'm ready, I we want to marry. We agreed, the family agreed, okay. You tell your, your family, you tell the church, then okay, everybody knows that's accountability. So today dating has been tainted. Where we see is somewhere you are going to have fun, uh, to be happy with someone. And that's a godly way. You don't say, I'm going to have fun. I'm what? Uh, 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 uh. Don't reason without the word, with, uh, how this world that functions according to the rudiments and systems of certain works. Say, you know, well, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm going to gain experiences and, you know, enjoy and have someone who can tell me I love you, I feel well. Nah, if it's not sorry for marriage and if you did not let your mother and father know and your past and the local church know you are in, walking in darkness and that will not be profitable for you. So you only engage in dating when you are ready to marry. You, you know, this answer the questions that were lingering for so long just wanted to share with you since many young people today are being deceived with that lie of certain about dating so you find they are entering into all manner of sins and all manner of uh shenanigans because of that okay so as a young man you want to understand more relationship dealing with marriage and the family life this is your book for you and even if you are married or you are planning to get married, brother, this is a sister, mother, father, everybody, grandpa, great grandpa. <laughs> you need this book. Take it, read it. It will bless you. It will shine light. It will change your life. You will see how God determined, God's plan, God's mind, how he wants family to function, family life to function, relationships to, fun, to function, and everything in regards man to man to function according to his plan, not according to the how the world thinks so this is the book for the day the book for the day take it go and order it it's worth itself uh and go and order it crucify that money which you want to buy some sweets when but this is worth investing in your eternal reality i am not of my own for i belong to you Jesus.